Hi, this is my rat. I thought I'd just get on here and um, make a little video and show you exactly how I co-wash my hair. I have made a video on this before where I explain the technique and why I recommend it to my Vivid clients and how to do it. But I thought, since I'm going to wash my hair anyway, because it's a mess, um, I might just make a video and actually show you how I do it. It's been like a week and a half probably since I've washed my hair. I think I've done as much as dry shampoo can possibly do and now it is just time to wash my hair. As I mentioned in the last video, I don't recommend a specific conditioner for this. I just like to use a cheap one that's not too thick, that's like going to spread really well for me. You don't want to use anything that's a super um, expensive, like deep nourishing concentrated sort of product. You want something that's a bit loose. So this is just what I use to mix with my colors a lot of the time. I haven't bothered to put on my eyelashes or anything like that because I'm quite literally going to tip my head over and wash it. So I thought I'm not going to do too much to this until after. I'm going to use cold water because I want to just keep the color in there for as long as I possibly can. But this is how I usually wash my hair. It's cold. So once it's fully saturated, I'm going to grab my conditioner to do my co-wash and I'm using like quite a generous amount here. So I'm going to just spread it in my hands so that I'm not going to put it all in one spot and try and just go blob there, blob there, getting like focusing on getting this product in my roots. And then I'm going to scrub quite vigorously. And you can sort of feel like if you've missed a spot and just feel free to go back, grab more and add to it. And it's very important that you rub like quite vigorously, otherwise you're not gonna wash your hair properly because you haven't got foam like a shampoo. It's not foaming. So you've got to really manually scrub it. Okay. I feel like I need more product. So I'm going back for more conditioner. And again, just putting it where I feel like I need it, but focusing this all on the roots. I'm not worried about my ends at all, just all on the roots, just like a shampoo. All right, that'll do it for my first one. Now I'm gonna rinse this off and I might do a second one as well because I feel like my hair is extremely dirty after about a week and a half and it's got heaps of dry shampoo in there. So I'm going to repeat this process. I can notice a big difference with the second one. It does feel like it's really getting in there a lot easier. It's a difficult thing to explain. I think you've really got to just do it for yourself to understand like how it should feel. And if you're going to be recommending this to your vivid clients as a way of keeping their hair brighter for longer, I would definitely suggest you do it yourself first so that you can explain it to them like with your own firsthand experience. It's always a lot easier to explain something to someone once you've done it. Nothing quite compares to the firsthand experience probably should have mentioned at the beginning of this video, but I will just drop a link to my previous video where I spoke in a bit more detail about co-shampooing and why I do it and who I recommend it to. So I'll just drop a link underneath this video so that if you want to go back and see my first video, you can just have a bit more context on what it is and why I'm doing it. So that was just two co-shampoos. I got water in my eye, hang on a minute. Two co-washes. This is why I didn't do all my makeup. Ugh. 
but what it doesn't replace is the need to still do a treatment like a deep conditioning treatment for dry damaged hair especially if you're someone who bleaches the crap out of the hair like me i think today i'm going to use my sacred mask treatment by pure yeah i like to have a couple of different treatments on the go all the time because i feel like whenever i do the same one over and over it just doesn't give me the same result you know you use it once and then it's great and then you use it the next time and it just doesn't seem to do as much so i like to have a couple of different treatments and i'm just focusing this treatment on my ends mainly and just with any spare product residue that i've got on my hands i'll run that through the roots it is a good idea to comb it through i'm just roughing it all right what i'm going to do is now just leave that on for about five minutes the treatment so that it can just nourish my ends a little bit and then i'm going to come back so this is the result from my co-wash i've just taken the treatment out and given it a blast dry and yes this is what happens to my hair when i just blast it dry so i haven't blow dried it properly i've just literally gone like that and this is the result but you know my hair is clean it's not like as clean as it would be if i had used shampoo but it's definitely acceptable <laughs> and this is good for me because i hate clean hair you think my hair is poofy right now? Like if I washed this with shampoo, it would be out here. So it's just also a really good technique for helping control frizz. I'm going to go and put my face on and curl this for you so that you can actually see the finished result. It's amazing what a $5 pair of Kmart lashes and clean hair can do. <laughs> and good lighting, of course. I feel about five years younger now. But yes. So that is the result of the co-wash. You can see my hair is clean, it feels clean. It's a little bit annoying. I don't really like clean hair, so it's kind of really soft. It'll take a day or two to get back to the way I like it, but it certainly behaves itself a lot better after I do a co-shampoo rather than when I use an actual normal lathering shampoo. So, And you can see like the color hasn't really dropped out much at all. So it's just really good for preserving the life of your color. And yeah, that concludes today's video. I hope that you liked it. Um, I might just link, as I said before, in the description below, I'll just put a link to my first video so you can see a little bit more details into um, how and why and everything like that about the co-washing. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye.